What is going on guys? Welcome to the match reaction. That was Manchester United versus AC Milan in the Europa League and I hoped for something a lot better. Um, it ended one all, and I, I'm really, really devastated about that because not that we deserve to win at all. We didn't. Not good enough at all. Um, we're very lucky to be in the position we were um, 80 minutes in, 85 minutes in. They go and get one back, um, which was probably just going to happen sooner or later. Um, they scored early on. It was disallowed. And they scored again, a really, really good goal, um, but it was handball. So we got back into it and, you know, we were very lucky. But the problem with Manchester United right now is it's been going on for far too long that we just take way too long to get into the game. Um, you know, we, we just don't start on the front foot. We, we take ages to get into it. I'm, I'm not sure why this is constantly, constantly happening to us, but it takes us ages to actually put in the work um, I think the first half was awful awful Martial came off um, there was one moment in the game you know Martial gets a lot of stick and rightly so sometimes you know he he should be doing better um, but I'm just sick of Martial going to the ground so easy like yes getting a penalty is great but for me I think it's it's really frustrating to see a player just throw themselves to the ground so easily. Um, and, you know, I just find that Martial does it way too often. He did it today. Um, he was in the box and he just takes his legs and bends his knees and drops like like a potato, just boom, dropping on the ground. And, and I, can't, I can't deal with it. Like, because, you know, yesterday, I don't know if you saw, but Phil Foden gets tackled by the goalkeeper it should have been a penalty um, and he's trying his very best to stay on his feet and get straight up I just can't understand these players who just don't want to stay on their feet they don't want to get up and put it in the back of the net and um, they're just relying on set pieces and penalties it's, it's so frustrating because we don't like I just want to see passion and get up and if you win a penalty or whatever fine I know sometimes they're told act it and, and try and get a penalty but for me I just think that's embarrassing and I really don't like that so I think Martial obviously he he hurt himself so he came off got injured and um, I'm not sure the extent of that injury and uh, hopefully it's nothing too serious but at the end of the day um Ahmed Diallo coming on was a really good thing he's exciting and um, he's only on the pitch a couple of minutes and he scores an absolutely outrageous goal outrageous like for a young lad to do that is just delicious. I I could I was like what I was screaming at the TV. How like pure filth to to be able to pull that off. And um, you know your nerves would be going. It's a big game. You're literally just on the pitch. You've not really had much of the ball, and then boom, you pull off this backward header, very much like the Chicharito one against Stoke all those years ago. Um, one of my favourite goals by him, uh, the little pig, and, and Ahmad Diallo has just pulled it off and made it look like nothing, made it look so simple, the way he flicks his head and oh my god, like if this is what we have to look forward to with Ahmad Diallo, I am all on it, I am all on that train, I'm so excited, I feel like he is a talented player and you know, there's there's always going to be the little price tag over him and stuff and can he do it, but um. I think and I think we have a player there. I know it's early days, but I do think we have a player there. He he's the way he's confident on the ball, the skill, the movement, um, and the ball in from Bruno Fernandez as well for um Amat Diallo's goal was just brilliant. You can just see they already have some sort of understanding, and um, Bruno knows where he's going, and and he connected beautifully with it and put it in the back of the net. Um, absolutely stunning. And it's such a shame that we don't win that game because of that beautiful, beautiful goal. It would have been great for Ahmad Diallo to score the winner, um, you know, and have us kind of comfortable going into the second leg, um, in Milan. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm down, I'm down about that because we didn't deserve to win, but we were so close to getting a result, so close, um. I think Dean Henderson should have probably done better with that goal. 
um, it was straight at him. He he gets his hand to it and he just kind of flops. I think he was expecting it to be maybe more than it was. Um, but if he had it just stood and put his hands simple. Um, and look, I'm just sitting here on the chair talking to a camera. What do I know? Um, you know, in the moment, maybe maybe it was more difficult than it looks. But for me, like I really like Dean Henderson. This isn't anything on him. I think he had a good game. But for me, I just think it's it's one that you should be saving. Um, and I don't want to do this every time uh, either goalkeeper uh, plays or saves or doesn't save. I don't want to say, oh, David De Gea would have saved that. He probably would have, but we need to just not keep comparing the two and just, you know, it is it is what it is. Um, one nil, or sorry, one all. They have an away goal. We need... We need to make sure that we get a couple of goals in Milan when we go. We have to be on form. Um, Scott McTominay was lucky not to get a second yellow, get sent off. Harry Maguire as well. It was a bit worrying that he might get carded, but he's safe. He can play the second leg. Um, I, don't, I don't think it was a good game, to be honest. I don't think um, too many of the lads did too well. I think the, the highlight of the game for me was Ahmed Diallo's goal. Um, other than that, we were pretty shit. It, it was not not exciting at all. Um, and I don't think we deserved... We didn't deserve to win, so it was probably only fair that AC Milan scored a goal, but obviously I'm fuming about it. Um, but, you know, we can't keep scraping scraping performances, um, scraping wins when we're not performing well enough. Um, I'm a... Er, I'm a uh, Diogo Delo was playing obviously because he was eligible eligible to play. I can't talk today. What is wrong with me? He's eligible to play because it wasn't in the contract because obviously we were in the Champions League um, and they were in Europa. So, um, you know, when when you do loan deals with clubs um, that aren't in your league that are in a different league, you don't really put that clause in because you're probably not going to meet each other in any competition. But it just all happened that we did. Um, I'm happy that Di uh, Diogo didn't score against us. That would have been pretty awful. And um, he seemed quite happy when his team scored. So you know, of course you will be. That's the team you're playing for right then and there. Um, but I do like Diogo Delo. I'd like to see him back at United. Um, after this loan, but we'll see what happens there. Um, but yeah, other than that, I I don't really have too much to say about it. I'm I'm frustrated. I'm happy for Diallo because. I'm probably going to go and watch that goal for an hour on a loop just constantly from all angles because it was absolutely beautiful. Um, I always say we don't score too many headed goals and that was that was the cherry on top. Like Headers are beautiful. I love watching headed goals because it, it takes such a technique. Um, but that one was just perfect. It was cheeky, it was beautiful, it was majestic. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch that with a big bucket of popcorn and enjoy. Um I almost forgot as well, Harry Maguire literally missed a sitter, an open goal, the easiest goal uh, my granny could score. She she's not here right now anymore, but she if she was alive she would definitely score that goal. Um I, I honestly think he will be kicking himself and I feel like that will haunt me forever so I'm sure it's gonna haunt him it was on a plate it was there he could have just chested it in and done some sort of Balotelli celebration you know like oh like that was there for the taking you could have scored that no bother could have like lifted your shirt and just tapped it in with your nipple whatever you could have scored that but he decides to put his foot on it and maybe a tiny 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 touch from the keeper kind of sent it a little bit offline but you have to be scoring that you have to and he's so good with his head I, I thought he would have kind of jumped in with his head and um, I'm not sure why he went for it I think he went for it with his left foot I think maybe right but anyway it was just awful and um, but we need to redeem ourselves in the second second leg I, I'm not unconfident. I think AC Milan, I probably underestimated them a little bit. I thought maybe we would win 2-0. Um, I thought we would have done better today. But they proved me wrong. And we need to prove them wrong when we go to Milan next week. Um, 
yeah that's all i have to say about that let me know in the comments what you thought again and um, obviously drop a like on the video for Amma Diallo and that absolutely amazing goal. I want to know what you think of it. Um, and if you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe, drop a like, and I will chat to you on the weekend for some more football. Enjoy your night.